Hey everyone, today we're opening the Acer Predator Triton 14AI PT1452T for reliability notes, display measurements, full benchmarks and more lab data. Check the detailed review on laptopmedia.com, link in the description. Let's get inside. To reach the components we remove 11 screws and lift off the bottom panel. We're using a Torx T6 screwdriver. The first four screws are shorter than the rest, so keep them separate. On this side you can see the shorter screws. With a thin plastic tool we start popping the cover clips loose. Go slowly and don't slide the tool too far in. There are components right under the edges. And we're done. The bottom panel is off. Here's the battery connector and its cable. Here's the M2 solid state drive area. There's only one slot. This cooling system uses two fans. It covers both the dedicated GPU and the CPU. Before we work on anything, we disconnect the battery and take it out.
We remove the three screws holding the battery, then lift it out. It's a 76 watt hour pack. You can check the result of our battery life test on laptopmedia.com. And don't forget to visit our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page. Now we remove the solid state drive. This laptop has a single M.2 slot with PCI Express 4 NVMe storage, so upgrades mean replacing the drive, not adding a second one. The black wrap around it has thin metal fibers and acts as an EMI and RFI shield. There's no thermal pad under the drive, and there are components underneath, so it's smart to pick an SSD that runs cool. Now we reinstall the SSD. While we're here, a few words about RAM. RAM is 32 gigs of LPD-DR5X dual channel rated up to 8,533 mega transfers per second, and it's soldered, no upgrades. Let's take a look at the Wi-Fi card. This one is an Intel Killer BE1750 Wi-Fi 7 card with Bluetooth 5.4. If you pull the two antenna leads straight up, the card can come out, but we won't do it today. These tiny snap-on connectors can be finicky, and a less than perfect reattach can hurt signal quality. That's a quick look at the internals and the key upgrade points on the Triton 14 AI. If you're curious about the OLED display quality, battery life, and how temperatures and fan behavior look in our tests, Check the full review on laptopmedia.com. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this teardown, subscribe for more.